in the future will not done be done with anybody wearing a black mask or an M16. Because that's against the law. As if that. This is people not knowing what's really going on, obviously. That believe totally in the law system of things. Don't tell me right yet. Th there aren't many that. Uh... You missed everything I said. <laughs> and now you're on me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now nobody knows what I just said, and it was great. <laughs> it was so profound. Well, you, you know, you were talking about the, the native system. Yeah. Uh, and asked me if I had visited. Well, you know, uh, where, where they are really all, poor. All I'm saying is where they're really poor. You can go just about anywhere. You can go on reserves where there's poor and rich. You can go on mm -hmm. reserves where there's three chiefs. You can go on reserves where there's no meeting place. You can go on reserves that are all wealthy and you can go on reserves that are all poor. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the native system isn't just one system because they're all broken down tribally by council systems and memberships and voting systems. They're not all one law. It's not like... Uh, aren't they getting together now though? Like isn't there a war happening? There again you're asking them, is they, aren't you? Well, yeah, but as you said earlier that the certain races are going to rise up yeah. because they have been down for so long yeah. that they have to rise up. And in that rising up, they're going to get attention. That's right. But it doesn't all mean good, does it? The attention, no. Hmm. Let's hope it does this time, though. Hmm. We give them attention for the right reason. You See, know, what they're doing. A lot of people are saying, why do I give a shit about what you're saying to me when I live in an area that we haven't had good drinking water as long as I've lived there? It's brown. We've had no... You can smell the sewer. You can, or there's not even a sewer system. You can just smell the shit in your backyard, you might say. Yeah. There's no garbage dumps or anything. Mm -hmm. You got a few, you know, planes coming in here and there with supplies for you. It can always seem just exactly from that place you're talking. I live in a nice setting, I got a nice house, I got power, I can have a bath, I can eat, I got a stove to cook on. But you're looking at a lot of people in a lot of areas, and I'm not just talking about Canada either. I'm very up to date with the reserve systems in the States, which are probably even more a kinship with my lineage. But the, these people live in shacks in Dakota and places like this where the winters are fucking cold. And they got no heat, and they're little shanty shocks, you know, and these people have to survive like this. And this has maybe got something to do with the beef system, with the white man system, you see. It's like, you could go back, you could go there now and say, gee, it's like a time warp. I feel like I'm a hundred years behind the times here, you know what I mean? You're in a different world. You go up to Alert Bay or even small reserves in Canada, and you're in a different world. How are we connected? We're not. Don't you see that that is the problem? But it's the same world. Goody, goody, goody. You tell that to the untouchables in India, eh? You start yeah. talking to people yeah. that are completely alienated and isolated from a society because of a concept or an appearance. The, the, the little silent caste system that we're all working with. What at all, you can't get together on anything until you know what it's all really going on everywhere, you know? Not giving a shit about anybody. Because you mm -hmm. can't, you don't even have the energy to, the free attention to do yourself. <coughs> Drac, because we're not, you could talk about your personal suffering, I could talk about my personal suffering, I could talk about a lot of different people's personal sufferings, but when we say are we coming together because of our suffering, I'd have to say no. 
I'd have to say, no, there's no real togetherness here in the suffering. Because uh, I've met a lot of people suffering for a long time and I still haven't seen it. What the interference is, I'm not exactly sure, you know? Not exactly. But I think what we have to do before we do anything to come together with anybody is to at least try to alleviate some of the suffering. With our technology today, there's no reason that any reserve area, part of a system of things that should be suffering or have no food or, or 70 percent of their child population sniffing gasoline for a daily expression, for a daily activity. If you see kids on glue and gas, or you see anybody, I don't mean just kids, or you see anybody going that way, and that's their livelihood, and you know that we are not together. The kids have got to be happy. The birds have got to be singing. And there's got to be flowers in the garden. We're not happy. And there are, you see, and even to say a native system or a white system or any system, all these systems are separated in themselves too. You gotta understand that. There's no one native tribe that thinks the same as another native tribe, and all these tribes are still warring with one another on some political level or another. You gotta understand that. Maybe we have too many chiefs, I don't know. But I know when the common people are spoken to on a daily level at a powwow or a gathering, you're still hearing the same stuff. We've got to help the children. Our children are all sick. The elders that have now quit drinking and setting precedence for the new age, there's a few of them that have quit the drinking thing. Some reserves have gone without alcohol. They're, they're dry reserves. And the healing centers that are coming around. I, I love that. I love that idea. I love that idea because if you're suffering, anything you're not laughing and you're not caring about other people that much if you have a personal suffering you have no free attention for anybody else at this moment unless you're mother Teresa okay and there's only a few and for himself or every woman for himself whatever terminology you want to go into it's just a matter of that in a lot of cases we do become just selfish that's the truth of the human interest system it is me myself and I quite a bit I know that if I'm suffering anything physically, or even mentally, don't think I'm giving a shit about anybody out there starving, because I'm not. I'm too interested in my own suffering, you see. This is where we're all involved. We're deeply involved. Well, what about where we connect their suffering to our suffering? Well, then I call that a party. 